Hi everybody and welcome back. Several years ago I had the opportunity of driving down through uh, Kenya from Nairobi on my way to Tanzania. And when we got to the Tanzanian border there had been tremendous rains and tremendous floods. And we were coming down the hill into the town of Musoma and uh, the bridge in front of us had been washed away. And so there was a line of trucks and cars waiting for the waters to subside and to work themselves through the damage. And one of the brothers said to me, he said, no, Peter, I know a shortcut. I know another way. We don't have to wait here. So I listened to him and we went off. We had a four wheel drive vehicle. We went off into the bush and uh, the rain was is getting harder and harder. It was getting darker and darker. And we traveled and we went over little streams through very muddy areas for nearly two hours. And then we found ourselves back on the main road. Hmm. But not on the other side of the bridge that was broken. We found ourselves more or less in the same place that we had departed from. And uh, needless to say, there was a lot of laughing, some mis complaints <laughs> and so on. But it was an interesting time and an interesting experience. You know, the fact is that in life, when God calls us, He has a road that we need to take. And it's my road. I have a way that God puts in front of me. You have a way that God puts in front of you. And we have to have a heart that is determined and willing to submit to what God desires of us. In Isaiah 14 verse 24, it says, The Lord Almighty has sworn, Surely as I have planned, so it will be. And as I have purposed, so it will happen. You know, there are many different roads that we can take. We can take the road of, of just self-justification. We can take the road of, I'm not ready yet. We can take the road of, I don't have faith for this. But God knows what we need in life. He knows what He wants to accomplish within us. And He's just looking for a heart that wants to stay on His road in His plan and His purpose. Not a heart that's listening to the counsel and the, the voices of people and situations around us. Not a heart that's looking for a way out, a plan B, a plan C. But just in simplicity, a heart of submission, a heart of humility that looks at the situation in front, the road in front and says, Lord, this is what you have planned for me. I need your grace. Get me through it. And the Lord will. God bless.